Hi, my name's Anush. I'm an 11 time marathoner and most importantly, a certified running coach. I love working with people to help them get to their goals in running. Today, we're gonna talk you through a 16 week marathon training program. So you're probably wondering why 16 weeks? It's super important to take the time to build those miles, have your consistent workout weeks in the middle, and have time to taper before the race. So follow along with this 16 week training plan to help you achieve your goals. All right, let's get started. Weeks one through four. Weeks one through four of this training plan are just a build phase. You wanna develop that consistent routine, running three to four days a week, and by the end of the four weeks, getting that long run up to 10 miles. Week five. We're now done with our base building, and this is the last week where we're just gonna focus on that consistent running three to four days a week with one to three days of active recovery or strength training. Your long run right now should still be around 10 miles. Week six. This is where the training plan starts to get exciting. We're gonna add in speed work once a week. For the first few weeks, we are going to be focusing on more fast turnover and fast speed. So 5K, 10K pace. Then we're going to transition into some of our longer tempos, honing in on that marathon and half marathon pace as we get closer to the race. Your first workout is 10 by one minute on and one minute off. That looks like one minute at your 5K to 10K pace with one minute of recovery to bring that heart rate down, either walking or jogging. For this week, your long run is going to be 10 to 12 miles. Week seven. We're gonna take that speed that we built in last week and we're just gonna hold that pace a little bit longer this time. So your repetitions are going to be for two minutes with a two minute recovery on the other side. We're gonna do this five times. So that looks like two minutes hard at that pace we held last week and two minutes where we're recovering in a walk or a jog. We're also gonna to start to build that long run. This week, you're gonna aim for 11 to 13 miles. Week eight. We're gonna take that speed we've built the last two weeks and change it into a really fun acceleration workout. Your run is going to be for two and a half minutes this time with a two minute recovery on the other side. I'm gonna break it down for you. The first minute of that two and a half minutes is gonna be spent at your half marathon pace, so slower than last week. The second minute, we're gonna speed up and hit that 5K to 10K pace for one minute. And then the last 30 seconds is spent in an all out sprint. You have two minutes on the other side to recover, bring that heart rate down, jog or walk it out. You're gonna repeat this four to six times. For our long run this week, we're gonna up it just a little bit more, 12 to 14 miles. Week nine, we've got another fun workout coming up for you. I just wanna remind you, if you're starting to feel a little bit tired, we are reaching a peak in our cycle, which means next week we're gonna bring it back down. So stick with it for one more week. We've got one hard week coming up. This workout is called a ladder. It's a very common marathon workout. You're going to build up to the top in terms of time and then back down. So what does that look like? You're gonna run at a 5K to 10K pace for each of these intervals, starting with one minute on, one minute off. That off is a walk or a jog recovery. Then you're gonna go to two minutes on, two minutes off with a walk or jog recovery, all the way up to five minutes, and then all the way back down. So I know that it sounds like a lot, but it's actually really quick, really fun, and those recoveries are exactly identical to how long you are running for. So when you're running for one minute at your 5K to 10K pace, you have one minute to walk or jog on the other side every single time. We have one more build week, so if you're feeling tired right now, I totally understand, but we're coming to the other side and peaking before we take that break and that down week next week. So we're upping our long run to 14 to 16 miles before we come back down. Week 10, you've made it to your first down week. It's super important to take these down weeks in order to be prepared for the bulk of our marathon training coming up with those harder workouts and our longest long runs. We're gonna pull back in order to help our body recover before we get into the meat of our marathon training cycle and build into those harder workouts and those longer long runs. So that means active recovery, no workout, no quality session for this week, so no speed, and bringing our mileage down just a little bit. 
We're going to be doing a long run this week of 11 to 13 miles. All of your runs throughout the week should be nice and easy. Week 11. We are now done with that recovery week and we are going to start to build in a little bit of intensity and also with our mileage. For the last few weeks, we've been focusing on our 5K and 10K pace in our workouts. Now it's time to shift our focus to our half marathon pace and our goal marathon pace. This week's workout is going to be two by 10 to 15 minutes at your half marathon pace. In between, you're going to recover for three to five minutes and bring that heart rate down by either walking or jogging. The other thing we're going to do this week is up our mileage in our long run. We're going to be at 18 to 20 miles. Week 12. This week, we're going to be doing a longer tempo run. A longer tempo run means that we are going to be picking up the pace over time throughout our run without a recovery. This workout is four miles long and you're going to be picking up the pace every single mile. Think about starting at your goal marathon pace and taking about 15 seconds per mile off every single time. This should help you gain confidence in bringing your heart rate up and holding for a longer period of time. The other thing we're going to do this week is pull back on our long run. Last week we had 18 to 20 miles. This week we're gonna pull back to 16 to 18 miles. Week 13. This week we're gonna switch up the pace a little bit and get back into our faster speed after we focused on that half marathon and marathon pace for the last few weeks. Your workout this week is six to eight times through three minutes on, three minutes off at that recovery walk or jog at your 5K to 10K pace. So we're holding that pace a little bit longer this time. We are approaching our peak week, the top of your marathon training plan ladder. So your long run is going to be 20 to 22 miles, the longest run you're going to see. Something to consider now that we are 13 weeks in is that life can get in the way. So something to think about when prioritizing your runs and if you have to skip a run is that you should be focusing and prioritizing those quality sessions or the workouts we go over each week and your long runs. Week 14. So we're starting to descend into our taper mode. So we're pulling back on both our mileage and our intensity. This week, our workout is called in and out miles. That means that we're gonna go in on our on mile and we're gonna pull back for a mile. The on mile is going to be at your marathon goal pace and the off mile is going to be adding 30 seconds to whatever your marathon goal pace is. So for instance, if your marathon goal pace is a 10 and a half minute mile, your off pace or your out pace will be 11 minute miles. And you're gonna alternate between that 1030 mile and an 11 minute mile three times, totaling in six miles. We're also gonna be pulling back on our long run. This week we're running 16 miles. Week 15, we are officially into taper mode, which means the priority the next two weeks is to recover, rest, eat well, and sleep. We do still have one small workout left to just keep that turnover in our legs and practice our marathon goal pace. This week's workout is five times through, two minutes at your marathon goal pace, and two minutes walk or jog recovery. We're also gonna pull way back on that long run and we'll be running 10 miles. Week 16, race week. You made it. This is the most exciting part of the entire training cycle. This week we're gonna focus on pulling back our mileage each day increasing the amount of days you rest and no workout. The day before the marathon, you wanna do a quick 20 to 25 minute run and incorporate about 500 meter strides. A stride is where you exaggerate your running form and pick up your pace to just focus on turnover and get your legs excited for the race tomorrow. Other than that, get ready, trust your training, be excited and get ready to run happy.